Hi, Jim Bustillos here with tonight's final thoughts. Uh, no script tonight. Um, just going to do a little bit of rambling on things that have kind of crossed my mind of late. Um, you know, the world is kind of dealing with the loss of Robin Williams, uh, which seems to be quite the big subject right now. Um, it'll be interesting to see as time goes on um, how strong the feeling will be or whether, you know, this will be just another one of those sorts of moments where the whole world kind of caught its breath and then immediately moved on to other things. So, um, a little bit somber, you know, kind of sad. Anyway, over the last week, uh, happened to go through my blog and, and I do have connected with my wordpress.com uh, account, a page of statistics. And I was just cruising through the page and I happened to uh, stumble upon this uh, top posts and pages and I was a little bit surprised that um, my top post is this online dating adventure sampling eHarmony post that I wrote uh, many moons ago. And that really got me to thinking about what I do with, uh, with this uh, vi video podcast and, and what I do with the blog itself. And it does seem like of late I have um, done a lot of talking about religion and those sorts of things. But it did make me seeing that that was the most popular, this is the most popular post, that it would be a good thing for me to continue the conversation uh, in regards to dating and, and relationships and those sorts of things. Um, it, it's funny, I just came back from a meeting tonight uh, with some uh, local independent writers and we were talking about branding and how people get to know uh, writers and whether but whether the thing they do becomes how they're known and if that you, you can suffer the possibility of being typecast and in in my case I you know I, I admitted that I ramble and I talk about a, a great many things although like I said of late I've kind of seemed to have shifted over to talking an awful lot about uh, religion and those sorts of things I wouldn't want to be known as that guy because that's not obviously well maybe not obviously but that's not who I am that's not I have a little bit more depth and uh, than that but that does kind of present a, an interesting problem. So writing about dating, um, especially if I'm actively dating, uh, can be a little bit of a problem because who, you know, that I just can't see it going well to be starting something or trying to start something with somebody and then having them find out what I think through the blog and not through a uh, direct conversation. The only solution that I can kind of um, determine is that, and, and this is what I'm kind of saying, I guess this is my statement, is that um, I do want to write about this part of my life, um, but I don't think it's a good idea to be writing about it, you know, like if I went out on this coming Friday and then Saturday or Friday night when I get home, you know, writing about, well, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like I said, Whomever I'm interacting with has, it does seem like right now, uh, much more capability of finding my writing. And so I just don't see that as being very smart. That said, I have had a number of years of experience and, and I find some of it um, humorous, some of it kind of poignant or whatever, however you want to put it. Um, and I don't want to not write about that and I don't want to not share that. Uh, but in the interest of um, having uh, positive experiences with whomever I might uh, be socializing with. Um, I will not uh, write about current situations. If I post something, uh, you know, some observation from the dating life, uh, rest assured that whatever I am posting is sometime in the past, you know, six months, a year, uh, more than a year in the, in the past. And obviously I'll be using, uh, I'll be using, uh, monikers and not uh, first names or last names uh, unless I, I happen to find myself in a situation where uh, the person I'm dating or seeing is is um, agreeable to allow me to um, exercise that particular gift so there you go that's my final thought for tonight um, you know on the wake of uh, losing a, a very gifted artist I um, I recognize that I need to do what I can with the time that I have and this is, you know, this has been part of my life, uh, or at least theoretically, socializing, as we say. 
Um, it's to the point where my mom, when I call her, is asking, so Joe, what's going on in that part of your life? <sighs> There's a lot to be learned. And I guess that's kind of how I approach it is, you know, whatever foibles or uh, thing uh, may befall me, I'm hoping that someone else will, um, will uh, reap the benefits from this and, and be able to laugh if not, uh, well, yeah, probably at me, but, you know, um, after the fact, uh, along with me, uh, because because that's the nature of the game, I guess. Anyway, that's my final thought for the night, and uh, we will catch you next time. Adios. Adios.